apparently washing your balls is now illegal in the state of Wisconsin. Now, I realize this might just be this particular uh, truck stop that I'm at. And I think I got another uh, you know, day or two before my balls smell like a syphilitic infection or some shit. You know, it, it just, it's amazing how inconsistent every state is. Like, every state has a massive inconsistency that generally results in not really slowing the virus down. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, I see a lot of states, and I'm reluctant to put this on YouTube, but I see a lot of states taking credit for the curve flattening. And while I do think we did nudge the needle a little, I think overall, given what I've seen out here in multiple states, including New York, Cuomo, you fucking piece of shit motherfucker no matter what state you're in I believe that we really haven't I don't think we flattened the curve I think the curve would would have flattened anyway just from our basic habits you'd still have plenty of people without the lockdown staying inside wearing masks to protecting themselves the difference would be is people would be free to take care of themselves Instead of making all these laws and rules and regulations to do it for everyone. You know, inform the public of the risks, of the dangers, and let them make the decisions. If you're afraid of catching the virus, you can avoid motherfuckers. You don't have to come out. You don't have to go to work. You don't have to do any of that. I, that's the stupidest argument I, I see against freedom and, and against this overriding of the Constitution is, you know, what you do affects me and therefore you have no right. Fuck you. What you're doing is affecting millions of people. It's the most hypocritical fucking argument ever. For the next year, we're going to be in the fucking Great Depression from the looks of it. And governors are still dragging their feet. Here in Wisconsin, they're dragging their feet to the tune of the 24th of May before you get a Cuomo f phase one. Most people can't go another week or two without serious financial ruin. That's staying in food bank lines. That's can't pay your rent. That's becoming homeless and jobless. That's hopefully not completely going to crash our backup plans such as welfare and food stamps. These are all things that when someone says, you're going to affect me with a virus that has a 0.1% chance of killing you. You know, it's a, it's a shitty argument that somehow you can't protect yourself if you want to. You know, you could take all kinds of steps to completely shut yourself in and get away from this virus and slow the spread. But it should be voluntary. You know, aside from the workplaces that have to take some steps within their company. If you don't like the place's rules that you work for, you don't work there. It's that simple. Quit most of the places are going to take adequate steps. They're going to make you wear masks. They're going to make you wear PPE. They're going to make you wear gloves. They're going to make you take the necessary steps because they don't want any liability. And that's going to be continued. That's going to be the new normal that, you know, we're going to have to get used to. Is workplace, is, it's going to be a while before we're comfortable with our immune systems again. But we'll get there, hopefully. I already see it. I see a lot of people not giving two fucks. Another truck stop today, nobody's we nobody wearing a mask. 
at all. Not even social distancing. You know, I went in the bathroom. Everybody was at fucking each sink, and it was it was a nightmare. I walked out of there with who knows what kind of fucking shit, and I can't wash my balls now because I'm in Wisconsin. So, it, it's a little rough out here, you know. I mean, I'm getting to states now that are so scared still that they have closed restaurants and truck stops leaving us with convenience store level food to eat forcing me to go to Walmart you want my fucking been everywhere in the United States from New York ass going to your local Walmart because I can't get any food at the truck stop because that's what it's boiling down to I don't know I just wanted to get on here and bitch. I promised everyone a YouTube video for Monday. So, here it is. If you aren't aware, I did post, and I will put the link in the description and in a pinned comment down below. Uh, I did post a, a video yesterday on LBRY from Illinois, talking about what was going on in Illinois. And, I don't know. It's crazy. Um, I'm still not keto. I'm still experiencing symptoms. Um, not from COVID. Put, put, Karen, put down the fucking phone. You're not calling Cuomo. I don't have the COVID. Um, it's, you know, more of, you know, obviously brain fog is, is a thing now. You can tell from this video depressions are more frequent but still not long in duration like maybe a day which is that's a little longer than I'd like to put up with um, my skin looks like shit like I got all kinds of blotchiness and this light lighting isn't helping with two different color lights so yeah my health isn't as great as as far as weight gain I don't feel I'm getting fatter, like, as far as my, you know, clothes aren't any tighter or anything like that. They're definitely, you know, I'm still way over where I'd like. I'm probably still at 205 by my estimates, but I won't be able to find that out till I get to a scale, which probably isn't going to be for another month. So, who knows how much weight I could put on in that time eating this shit. But, uh, I do... You know, hope that we can get everything open again, which will make it sustainable, particularly with the meat shortages, which there, I'm running into that as well. Um, to, to get back to a healthier diet, uh, despite being out here. You know, I did manage to get a ribeye in, but for every one day where I eat a keto, like ribeye with Greek yogurt and that kind of stuff, there's a day that's just like, you know, Arby's. Like glyphosate fucking buns. Um, probably back addicted to sugar at this point. I'm not like drinking soda or nothing stupid like that, but I do have a, the occasional baked good, which probably is one of the bigger if i had a suspect on the return of the depressions i would say that the sugar is the thing that's probably fucking with me the most or the grain sugar or the grain those are the two things that are probably not doing me any good um as far as allergic reactions i'm i've not reacted to pollen but then again it's kind of shitty out right now so it's hard to tell um but when i was walking in memphis i did not have a reaction to the pollen um, but I do find that I get some odd itchy skin shit here and there. And of course, zits. Um, lots of bloating, lots of gas. So, yeah. My long-term health is taking a hit during this, uh, crisis. But I'm hoping that the new normal doesn't mean uh, everything's fucking closed forever or you can only let 10 people in at a time. So, a couple more days, I should be in South Dakota. And, uh, wow, that's horrible lighting. How about that? <laughs>
That was a fail. A couple more days I should be in South Dakota. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that there's enough open. The thing about South Dakota is while they aren't required to do anything, um, it does look like fear is playing a role in what's open and what isn't open. But I won't know for sure till I get there and I see how things are. Um, at the very least, legally, I should be able to go do some hiking, get out in the woods and that kind of stuff. Um, but I do want to look around. You know, it's been a long time. It's 25 years ago I lived there. And uh, so it's been a long time. And I'd like to, you know, kind of relive some old memories. Probably a bad idea, but... It's kind of where every, my adult life started, was in Rapid City, South Dakota. Um, you know, obviously I was, you know, I went through basic training and I went through tech school in Denver, but then I eventually ended up in South Dakota. And so I'm, I want to relive some of that when I get there. Or at least, you know, try and remember some of it. Um, my first duty station is there. It's, you know, there's a whole lot of history in South Dakota for me. So, I don't know. And I am, like I said in the LBRY exclusive video, I got my eye on it. You know, as a possible relocation thing. If Cuomo doesn't get his shit together. Hey, if Elon Musk is going to pull his shit out of California, then, damn it, I might pull my shit out of New York. I don't know. But, I hope it doesn't come to that. But... We'll see. We'll see how the recovery goes. We'll see when Cuomo will give up his power. Um, and he's probably not going to give up his power until the state legislature or the judicial system stomps on him a bit. So, we'll see. But I'm not liking the way New York's going. And I'm not liking it to the tune of I might move my state of residency. I mean, it doesn't make a difference. I'll still be able to visit New York and do all of that shit because I'm a over-the-road truck driver. You know, it's just a matter of where my taxes go and what my license looks like. So, we'll see. Though I will have to maintain a residence if I were to move somewhere. So, I'm kind of going to be auditioning some places while I'm out here this summer. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. What the fuck do I know? This is just a quick vlog today. I'm not a fucking expert. I'm just a fucking asshole. Please, like and subscribe for more shit. And I'll make more shit. If you want a little more content, head to LBRY in the link down below and you'll see the video I put up yesterday. That is only available on LBRY. Because I talk even more shit in that video than I did in this one. And uh, some stuff that I didn't feel comfortable putting here on YouTube can't imagine why I wouldn't feel comfortable putting my shit on YouTube. I mean, what could I possibly be saying that I can't put on YouTube? <sighs> I miss freedom, don't you? We don't have much left. Free speech has been fucked with for a couple years now. Can't walk in a park without getting your balls tasered or billy clubbed by cops, apparently. I don't know. <sighs> I mean... It's really bad. I don't, I'm, I'm kind of, kind of over it. I am kind of over all this shit. Ready for it to be done. Have a nice, motherfucking day. And shit.